Minna san konnichiwa and assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you're doing well, inshallah. In today's video, guys, we are going to talk about lighting in Blender or Raito in Japanese. Okay, I have some few lights here, such as this area light for this uh, field behind the bus stop, and also a sunlight for the whole scene, and a small uh, area light for the chair, so it's focusing on the chair and one point light for these bushes in the foreground because there is no light uh, in the foreground so I add it here to add slight bright uh, bright light on these um, shadowy areas of course because I'm doing a tutorial I need to enable the simplify option and uh, make this, uh, the subdivision max to 0 or 1 either and use um, the texture limit to 128 for me, not for you, but if you have a bad uh, CPU and GPU like me, so yeah, you, you need to do these settings. And of course, we are in cycles in GPU with 16 um, samples. It, it's enough for previewing the things, of course. And if you go to the world settings, click this new. It should be in default like this, but you know. Anyways, it's boring with this gray um, color. Uh, you can choose the sky texture over here with this drop down menu. And by default, it's so bright. You need to go to the render settings under the color management. We have a uh, option called exposure. Turn it down like you have a real life camera. Play with this exposure, uh, exposure and it's amazing. It's amazing. Just with these default settings, uh, you have a lot of settings such as the sun rotation, rotate the sun like it's in real life, it will rotate like clockwise, something like this, in the same Z space, just rotate it, it's amazing. I have this uh, cool lighting, I, I love it so much. And also we have the sun elevation if you want to make a golden hour maybe, uh, sunset, sunrise, vibes, maybe middle of the night. Uh, middle of the day if you want to make uh, like a spacey uh, spacey image or something like this you can make it uh, so big so high you get the idea just play with these values it's amazing and by default because um, we turn down the exposure we need to play with the emission shaders if we have some in our scenes because i'm having some glowy signs i need to play with this strength for the emission shaders uh, as you can see if i reset the exposure you can see it's bright, but when we turn down the exposure, we need to turn up the emission shaders. But anyway, and here I'm just uh, I'm going to duplicate this world and uh, remove the the sky texture from it, so I can play with my own lights in my own collection. As you can see, it's dark because I forgot to reset the the exposure, and here I'm just uh, playing. Uh, but I forgot there is an exposure value, so I turned down to the uh, exposure and uh, reset it. Yeah, like this. And in the sky texture or in the sun settings here, I will call it sun, okay? We have the sun size. The sun size, if we make it bigger, the shadow will be so soft. Remember that. If we have a sun bigger, we have uh, soft shadows. Big sun, soft shadows. Small sun, harsh shadows or sharp shadows. We don't need in our renders the, the shadows to be sharp. We need them to be soft as we can. Uh, like in real life, always sh shadows in real life is soft, not really sharp, like it's, it's digital. If it's sharp, it's digital. And uh, I turned on the, the, sh the not the children's, the, um, oh my God, I forgot uh the particle system for my field okay because uh, i like these uh, things i don't know these weeds or what they call them i i forgot okay uh forgive me guys for my english it's not the best and sorry i'm learning japanese by the way so yeah gome gome in japanese anyways uh we have two settings here in the sky texture which is amazing the sun uh, intensity and the sun strength they are amazing just play with them if you have the sun strength set to one and sun intensity set to zero you will have like a high dynamic range like straight off the way like amazing <laughs> and if you turn down the strength and turn up the sun intensity will have another vibes like in photoshop we have the the highlights and the whites it's like this combination the sun intensity like the highlights and the strength 
is like the whites, something like this. It's amazing, guys. It's like you have a wet, um, uh, wet rainy day or something like this. It's amazing. I, I, I like it so much. And with the volumetrics also make it a, a huge difference. Uh, the volume here is just a single uh, a volume scatter, scatter in the uh, node shaders or node stuff, okay? Shader editor. Of course, here it's it's amazing. I like it. I'm here just seeing there is a blurry background, a blurry foreground. I forgot that I limited the textures, so yeah, that's why I'm... Anyways, uh, and the lights here making a huge difference. My lights com uh, co combined with the sky texture. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm showing you that that's amazing. Just add the sky texture and add your own lights. And by the way, we have a camera here, a real life camera, of course. Depth of field, guys, is amazing. Just uh, you need to experiment with that. We have the f-stop, which is the blurriness value. The smaller the value is the the blurry the 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 image will be and if we make the value value too high the image will be in focus or everything in focus anyways and we have this distance value as you can see in the viewport we have this crosshair uh, mean, uh, like meaning that this is the focus point you can play with the distance so you can put your focus point in something like in foreground you can see this this effect is amazing just with the depth of field set to 0 0.1 and the distance is closer to the foreground elements and you can play with the f-stop to get like real life camera 1.4 you can see it's uh, it's uh, not a cheap lens it's uh, hard to find actually it's so expensive and just play with the distance so you don't see that here in the preview but in the final render if you have uh, 200 samples or 300 you will see the blurry in the places that you don't want them to be sharp it's amazing just play with it and we have this blades option uh real cameras have blades real blades so that makes uh, the 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 bright areas if you have a portrait you can see the bokeh we call them bokeh for some reason if we have like a diamond shape or uh, a heart shape if you if you watch the the glib uh Alexandrov ferio uh, he explained that um, like in depth anyways I'm, uh, i showed you that there is an add-on called uh, read camera it, it will adjust everything for you but the depth of field you need to play with it yourself anyways i will uh, render all these with all my lighting uh, stuff like uh, without the sky texture and with the sky texture you can see here the difference this one with my own lightings i need to set back the, the exposure to the default guys because when you render you need to play with the exposure if you have the exposure is not right you need to fix it to zero to save your image and then if you have another image with a different value of exposure paste the exposure value and uh, save it to your file and after that i will move them to the to the photoshop so i can add some effects and some stuff i will show it to you right now I'm here in Photoshop. I have a document of 1080 by 1080, 300 uh, pixels or, you know. Anyways, uh, I placed my uh, render that I like so much. I like it so much. The first thing first you can do, you can add an auto color. It will uh, auto color the colors that you have. If you have an S log or something like, because we are in Filmic here, I have Filmic. So that's why it's... Uh, it's a bit like not saturated. I will add a new layer and set it to color dodge add. And I will add by the blending options, add an outer color, outer glow, sorry, with um, color dodge add with these settings and set the size of the blue, uh, not the blue, the, the glow a little bit high, not too much. And of course, if you have um, your brush, set it to the yellow, yellow, not yellow, saturated yellow, just a little bit color yellow color and of course uh, experiment with the opacity of the brush and the flow of the brush don't make it too high because it's going to be uh, a lot uh, you know brighter so a little bit make it subtle like in real life you can see this glowy thing in real life anyways just add it like this to add like a stylized stylized effect if you watch anime you will get this idea here my scene it's not a real anime anime but it's 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 stylized anyways add this glow thing in these areas which is bright 
I know the size of this outer glow is too much. I will just double click and uh, make it small, like a little bit, as you can see. With your eraser, you can erase these things that you don't want. Of course, it's, the, it's not perfect. Just, uh, you know, play with it. You can play with the opacity of your layer, of course, because it's so in intensive. Uh, I didn't uh, see that until I edit everything. So please forgive me, guys. And add some details here and there. Uh, and when you're done, click Ctrl Alt Shift uh, E to merge all the layers. And if you go to the camera raw filter, I will add uh, some effects and some stuff to make it a little bit good. <laughs> if you have this night light uh, option turned on in your uh, system, please turn it off because the colors will be not good. Uh, play with the temperature and play with these settings, uh, experiment with them. And to your liking, I have an in-depth tutorial. So I will fast this section for you guys so you are not like uh, boring stuff or anything. And I will say salam and see you soon inshallah with another videos.